Okay, if you're looking for something new, different, or maybe just a little tasty food mm -hmm. sleuth, do you go by that, uh -huh. Paychan? I just give myself a lot of names <laughs> on this show. Like, food food call yourself whatever is. you want. Whatever I want. Yeah. Right? We're doing some really cool uh, foodie <clears throat> finds. Yeah. You're always doing things your ear on the that I just really love. So, mm -hmm. one is um, having your own beehive, which sounds a little bit crazy in the city, but this is basically a hive share program. Mm -hmm. It's uh, torontohoney.com. So, this urban beekeeper, Fred D., he is so fantastic. He has beehives all over the city and what you do is you basically subscribe you can have a full share a full hive half or a quarter and uh, so my friend and I we share half a hive look at you so he does all that. of the work and then at the end of the season which is in the fall he he extrudes the honey for you from the honeycomb and oh. you get your own honey so you actually don't do any work but you can go visit your bees with him and then enjoy and enjoy so here I have spiders. two different jars so this you'll see the difference in the color mm -hmm. the lighter one is earlier in the season mm -hmm. and then later in the season oh. the Honey so gets good. a little bit darker. So this is like unpasteurized raw honey. Mm. What I, I love, love about this is that it makes <clears throat> such a cool gift as well. So if you've got Very. like a wedding gift or birthday gift to give to someone, give them a bee hot. You're so sweet. But once you so have cool. honey like that, it'll never be the same. You'll again. never, I know. And then here's like some honeycomb that I want to show you. Um, so I'm going to cut into this. So this is the frame, okay. and this is what you would see when you go visit your bees. And this is like so amazing on a cheese board. Look at that. And you can just eat it just like. Oh yeah, it's yeah, fantastic. It's, it's amazing. You. That's all you want to try that. You don't have. I like, do want to try. Okay, it. there you go. It's um, yours. Pay hey, this. This is brand new. Like this it's just is like hit the shelf. Exactly, absolutely brand mm. new. So Kind Snacks, they have a lot of great products out there. They make one of my favorite nut bars. They came out with these great breakfast bars. So we know breakfast can be really hectic, especially yeah. at this hour. Um, but you know what? Eating breakfast doesn't have to be. So it's great because they're individually packaged nice. on the go. Two bars in each one, made with five um, whole grains. So really great to keep, you know, a sent to school, keep in your gym bag. You can eat it on the subway and no one will get mad at you because no, no. don't have the it smell, right? Smell. Exactly. So some really great flavors as well. So I love this and, you know, great with some yogurt, great mm -hmm. with uh, your latte, your tea in the morning. Um, really fantastic. So I'm a big fan of that. And again, like you said, totally brand new. Now this awesome. is awesome too. Coconut snacks and they come <laughs> in different flavors now. They do. So these are, these are also brand new by Hungry Buddha. So this is vegan coconut jerky. Okay. So it's a nice vegan alternative to the traditional jerky products, which are usually meat. Um, and what's fantastic, so it's organic, it's gluten-free, it's raw, it has no refined sugar. The one you tried is the teriyaki mm. flavor there. And you can tell it's really embedded in that flavor. It's really good. Yeah, so it's really it's made from like gently dehydrating young organic coconut meat. And you were saying the texture itself, it's like having like a dried fruit. Yeah, like it's a got dried a little mango, bit of like chew. That sort of, mm. okay. Yeah, and it's really nice too if you want to incorporate it into your other foods. So you can mm -hmm. put into sandwiches, salads, that sort of thing. But I just Smart. love it as a snack because I love, I'm cocoa for coconuts. Yeah, you are. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I love it as a really great option. So again, awesome. this is brand new and you'll start seeing it in most of your major grocery stores very great. soon. Grain. Yes. Yeah, so if you follow me at all on social media, you know that I have fallen in love with this company. They're a West Coast based dry goods company. And if you take a look at um, this is just a selection of some of the like beans that they dried beans that they offer. And on the front, they actually that's a photo of the farmer. Oh, nice. And on the back, you'll have a little story about the farmer the farm and where this product is from. So oh, it's nice. really about, you know, direct farm mm -hmm. um, to you, essentially. Mm -hmm. And um, oh, oops, oh, here we go. <laughs> safe, safe, don't worry, we got so it. So you can see the map there. Yeah, and so it'll tell you, you know, like for example, these chickpeas are from Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan, and it'll tell you a little bit about the farmer there. So it was two friends who started this company out west because they just wanted to, they wanted to know where their products were coming from, and also they were realizing that a lot of the really high quality products that were being produced in the prairies weren't necessarily becoming available to everyone in market. Right. You're supporting local, which is so nice to know. It's always yeah. nice to support local. Well, you're getting local. great Canadian yeah. products, and also what I have fallen in love with are um, their flowers. So they do fresh freshly milled grains and you can mm. as someone who loves to bake grains have so much flavor it changes the taste doesn't it like when yeah because you're, yeah. you're suddenly you're eating something you're like wow this tastes delicious and it's because of the red fife or it's the spelt flour right. um, it's the rye so those are the things that I've started experimenting with and you can order online mm -hmm. which is great so it's eatgrain.ca you can find their products there I love this and, and and you know with the chickpeas too instead of buying you know just a can of it yeah. it's not that difficult to soak it and have rehydrated beans and you know that they're high quality sustainable yeah so it's great um, in that way too so these are obviously we know they're very nutritious great mm -hmm. products to keep in the kitchen great kind of pantry items 
woman inching this way. I know. This way. <laughs> so we've also got for Valentine's Day, which is coming up, um, Soulful Chocolate is a fantastic company that's run by a husband and wife. They have a shop at Girard near Broadview, and they do bean to bar. So for Valentine's Day, they have this great little tasting box, which has three different bars, and each one has like a different unique origin. Mm -hmm. And then it comes, yes, absolutely. And it comes with this really sweet little dry bouquet as well. Oh, nice. Mm. Yeah, so it's kind of like nice for Valentine's Day. And the bouquet is right. from Minim Design. So it's a nice little package. Uh, also a great way to support a Toronto company because they do all of their chocolate bars mm -hmm. in their shop. Well, and we have package. to talk about this okay, local this hot spread. spot for yes. Spanish. Uh, exactly. So Campo Food Hall has just opened up at King and Spadina. Um, Rob Braganolo uh, is behind Such it. Nice He's guy. one of my favorite people. Mm -hmm. and, <laughs> and so during the day, they're like a Spanish food hall, food market. By night, a wonderfully popular Spanish restaurant. They also have great, um, sort of like great Spanish food items love that it. you can buy. So if you're looking for something that might be a little specific or hard to find, they have this like, I love this, paella food kit, mm -hmm. right? Good, tell me and how then, to do it. I, <laughs> exactly. So, you know, some of the traditional things that you'll find there, the empanadas, for example, the, the frittata, the octopus, oh. one of my favorites. Oh, so it's a great spot. Mussels too are really good. Yeah, great spot for lunch, great spot for dinner, and maybe if you want to cook at home, a place to go and pick up your nice your nice broths and your spices and all the elements that you need. Oh, we're gonna okay, we're going to eat pay. This is all wonderful. Um, for more information, reach you at Pay Chen? I pay Chen or paychen.com if you have questions. Good stuff. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to swallow this because I need to talk. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much, Pay. Coming up after the break from slaying zombies in The Walking mm -hmm. Dead to protecting the king in the Black Panther, we cannot wait. Denai Guerrero is going to be joining us in about 15 minutes' time for a morning show exclusive. You'll only see her here. <laughs>